so here we're going to look at something a bit different where we have an infinite population evolutionary uh, gain. And so the idea is that we're looking at the uh, evolutionary process as um, we have a population of um, strategies. So the idea is that let's say we have three strategies in our population and when the first strategy uh, meets a member, uh, meets another member of the population. If they meet a member of the first, stra another first strategy, they get four. If they meet a second strategy, they get three. If they meet a third strategy, they get two. And so, for example, a third strategy, if they meet uh, a first strategy, they get six, zero, and uh, three. And then what we can do is we can say, well, what happens over time if a strategy reproduces um, based on how well they do, based on the utility they get, which is dependent on uh, the density of the population. Um, but also there are strategies that die, so we have a constant total amount of population. And so that these, these little equations describe this, and we have this uh, differential equation that can be, uh, that is a matrix equation, x is a vector, where the first element is the proportion of uh, first strategies, second element, second strategy, third element, third strategies. And um, for given types and given things, we can solve this for um, a particular, a, a particular uh, problem and we can get the equation symbolically, but we can also use uh, SciPy to um, just solve this differential equation numerically. And so the first thing we need to do is, is essentially write this differential equation down. So Oh, let me um, import the relevant libraries. We kind of always need NumPy, um, but we're also going to use um, a particular function from SciPy. So from SciPy.integrate, import OD int, so the ordinary differential equation integrator, um, which is just the thing that will solve this differential equation numerically for us. And then I'm going to say that I want to draw something, so I use matplotlib in line. And then once once I've done that, I'm going to define my derivative on the left um, numerically. And so that's just going to be defined by me setting up f at every single time step. So that's just going to be a times x, whatever x is as it changes over time. And then phi is just f times x again over over time. And then what I return is x sorry times f minus five. And now once I've, I've done that, it's it's relatively straightforward to do. So let me define the specific a I've got up there. So the three by three numpy array, where the first element is four, three, and two, then two, one, and five, and then six, zero, and three. And um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, create all the x's over time. So that's done by going ODE int. The function that I use is dx. That's my, my derivative. I need a y naught, so the where the where the population starts. And so I'll I'll go with um, one third, one third, one third. Um, I need to decide where I'm integrating this over. So these are my time periods, and so I use numpy's Lin space to create a, a bunch of t's from 0 to 10, and I want 100 of them. So these are my, my points. Uh, t equals t. And then finally, it's like, do you want to pass any arguments to the dx function? And the arguments I want to pass are this matrix A. And so once I've done that, I can just plot this by going plot dot plot all the x's. Um, I have an imported plot, my mistake. So import matplotlib.py plot as plot. And what we see that we start with this a third, a third, a third, but over time our population seems to um, oscillate where there are different points. All of a sudden when there was a lot of uh, greens, then uh, the the reds kind of take over, and uh, sorry, the oranges kind of come up, uh, whilst the blues get dominated and the blues come back down. And we can see what happens if we change the matrix, right? So um, let's change this to a zero, and 
we see now all of a sudden that blue doesn't do as well and the green doesn't do as well either. So this is a very simple uh, tool that already exists in Python, which is just this ODE int, which is just a numerical solver for these differential equations. Um, and that just allows us to solve the equations over time. And depending on the game, we might have or might not have certain levels of stability, which obviously we're not seeing here. There doesn't seem to be much stability, or maybe we have. Maybe we've arrived at a level of some, some, uh, stability for this particular game. Let me plot it for more points. Yeah, indeed, it looks like we've converged to a particular level of stability. And that's the kind of thing that evolution game theory is interested in, especially in infinite populations, where we have these defining differential equations that say how the game um, is going to occur. And we can then see what is the behavior that comes out of that.